For the past few seasons, Articat has been putting on some of the best contests we at Snow Tracks have ever done. For this season, we wanted to switch it up a bit and do something even more impressive. So the winner this year still gets a sled of their choice, but this year we're going out to Togedy Mountain Lodge in Wyoming to participate in Arctic Cat's 2016 snowmobile video and photo shoot. This season's contest couldn't have ended any better. The winner, Jeff Milan, is from Wisconsin, and it just so happens he's a die-hard Arctic Cat guy. I was actually planning on purchasing a, a new Articat snowmobile, a Tucker Hibbert replica model. Once I saw the chance to win an, a, an Articat sled, and especially my choice of one, I thought, wow, what, what, what are the odds of that possibly? And so, I, you know, it was a no-brainer just to sign up at least. I just happened to be on my way home from work one day and, and I got a phone call and, and it was a funny area code and the person on the other end of the line was um, Mark Lester, and I, I recognized his voice right away from Snow Tracks television. I immediately, I began to shake. <laughs> you know, I was just blown away. I mean, I just sat there and went, you always wonder who maybe wins these things, and for it to be me, I, I just, I, I, was, I was really overcome by emotion. I mean, it, it, was, it was awesome. I, I have to say, it was really an awesome, awesome feeling. Once you realize that, okay, so there's more to this thing than just a snowmobile, now there's a trip out west, and on top of that, you're gonna bring a guest. And I immediately went to my snowmobile crew and, and thought of my brother, and he was the guy all along. Yeah, I got the phone call from, uh, from Jeff, said that he had won the contest uh, from Snow Tracks in Articat, and just about jumped myself right through the ceiling. I was so excited uh, for him. It was not only the most logical choice, he and I just, we get along really well together. We sled really, really good together. We feed off each other on snowmobile stuff. So um, yeah, he was the front runner from the word go. You're always waiting for the next model year to come out, you know, being enthusiasts that we are. And now being able to actually see them before anybody else and on top of that, drive them, ride them. You know, this, this is just gonna be, you know, up and beyond everything that we've ever done before. You know, the excitement is overwhelming. I mean, it truly is. It, uh, it blows you away. You know, you just gotta sit back and think about what you're gonna be doing for the next three days. And, uh, you know, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Day one of the contest was a guided ride, and basically what we were looking to do was find some meadow somewhere up in the mountains with untouched, fresh powder, and just let the Jeffs go nuts and play in the powder. I could tell on the ride up to the, to the meadow we were headed to that the guys were just blown away by the scenery and, uh, and by the spectacular area that we were riding in. You know, the trail ride out to, to the open area was, was a fun ride that we were kind of in our element there. And then we got out into the deep powder and um, our guide and, and a couple of the other guys in the group, you know, you could see the experience right away. Those guys came blasting by us in the powder and, and zigzagging around with the sled and really making it work. And, you know, I was like, okay, that, that looks pretty cool. And so we got off trail and started doing some loops around and stuff. and kind of reverted to my old trail ways and started rolling the sled over and I think within two minutes I was upside down on the sled. <laughs> Not riding in deep powder ever before in my life. Um, didn't really think there was going to be much, too much involved and just, you know, you get the thing stuck, you get off, you pull it out and away you go. Woo! <laughs> Damn it. The first time I dumped it and got stuck, and realized that, you know, I'm up to four feet in snow and up to my waist, how am I gonna get this thing rolled over? And let me tell you, after the first time I did that and got it back to where I could get it out, I mean, I was so winded, I was, I was I, you could tell that this was gonna be something that you didn't wanna do over and over and over again because you were gonna be tired and out of shape, like, quick. Got a little workout, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, 
yeah. makes those groomed trails look like super highways, like blacktop paved trails. Both Jeffs learn quickly how to get the sled on its side and keep the throttle on and, and do a bit of powder carving here and there. They definitely got her stuck more than once and uh, we had to go get them out. But for the most part, they picked up on some good techniques that I think they're gonna definitely use in the future when they end up back at a place like this. Once we got the hang of, of what it was gonna take to, to maneuver these sleds around in the powder, um, you know, we had a blast. We rode, I don't know, for a couple hours. The two Jeffs, they were just, they were through the moon excited about things. I, I've never seen two guys high five each other so often and, and like they were bear hugging and just yelling and screaming as they were riding in the snow. They were so excited. It was like two little kids uh, the, on Christmas Eve. Day two was really the most unique portion of this story and this trip for these guys in that they were going to be part of Arctic Cats 2016 um, video shoot. Not really knowing what the whole photo shoot thing was gonna entail, you know, I kind of thought, well, you know, they'll pick a small area and we'll just, you know, do a little, a small little pass, but it was actually a lot more fun and a lot bigger on, on a scope uh, than what I expected it to be. I knew that you were going to have to try to put on a good shot because they were going to, you know, they may, maybe they wanted to use that shot, you know, so you wanted to do something good. So there's a million things going through your mind, you know, riding style, how you wanted to act. You know, riding a 2016 prototype that nobody has number one seen and you don't even know how many they have made. Yeah, you, you do want to take it kind of easy on them. You know, you're, you're a little bit reserved, but at the same time, these guys are telling you, just have fun. And when you get up to your spot, hammer on it and go. Three, two, one, reveal. You could tell that they just had this deep sense of uh, satisfaction with being involved in so many cool things in such a short span of time. And they've seen all these different things from the outside, but they've never been inside how it happens. And this was a really cool experience for them. And it was an even cooler experience for me, I think, to be able to be taken back to my first few trips in the media, getting to see behind the scenes and how excited and pumped I was. That's exactly how they were. And it helped me remember just how cool this job is and uh, helped me appreciate it a whole lot more. He is in his element right now. He is gonna be excited for a long time. So excited, you know, he'll live this, we both will, but you know, him being a big cat guy, I mean, he, he's, he, uh, he won't sleep for months on end after we get home. You know, coming out here with my brother, riding the 2016 Art of Cat sleds, riding with the guys from Snow Tracks, hanging out, having dinner each night, meeting some of the Art of Cat pro riders, you know, it, it's just been an amazing, an amazing experience. <laughs> I've always signed up for stuff, never won anything, you know, and at this point in my life, you know, it just came about and I won something. You know, we're riding down the trail and, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I, we're doing this because I won this contest, you know, and you, you just, I, we wouldn't have been doing this had I not signed up for the contest. So by all means, sign up for the contest. <laughs> that was amazing. What a ride. Awesome sleds. Thank you, Snow Tracks. Thank you, Articat. Thanks, Articat. Snow Tracks. What a blast. Outstanding. Deep powder, flat trail, awesome sleds, great hospitality. Doesn't get any better. I'm really looking forward to what our future with Arctic Cat and Arctic Cat contests holds. I can only imagine that if, if these have been so successful, Arctic Cat's happy with the outcome. We love the outcome. The winners are always pumped. What more can we do in the future to make these contests even better? If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.